Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over how to find a bowling PAP. So for today's video, the things that we are going to be using and needing is a bowling ball. I've got my trusty Rodman Pearl that I just drilled up here. Uh, I also have some white tape. You'll need like some athletic tape or maybe any other color, just athletic tape. And then what's called an armadillo. Most pro shops have this in stock. It's a little clear uh, pathfinder for your oil rings on your bowling ball a pencil to write on the bowling ball, and a prosect or a quarter scale, whatever that you prefer to call it, same thing. And so for today's video, we're gonna be going over finding that PAP, so here we go. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is have you get warmed up and throw some shots. And once you feel like you've thrown the best shot possible, then is whenever we come to the table and we have your bowling ball and we trace the oil rings on the bowling ball. So you only want to trace mainly one ring and that's going to be this most inner ring closest to your fingers. Now as you'll see the track of my bowling ball where the oil rings are for in other words is on the left side of my fingers so like this if I switch the ball around and so it's on this side over here and that's because I'm right-handed of course if you're left-handed they'll be on the opposite side for you. So once we start tracing here we just trace the closest one that's going to be to our fingers and our thumb and once we get that going all the way around you'll see the bow tie here where it crosses over so it goes from basically the inside to the outside to put it in the simplest terms and you just trace that oil ring going all the way across your bowling ball as best as you can sometimes you might not always see uh, very clearly where that the oil rings are and that is perfectly fine um, just as long as you get the majority of the oil ring going around. So now, the next thing that we need to do is take our Prosect and put it in the center of our grip in between the fingers, so the bridge here, and draw it through the center of the thumb like this. So we go across here and straight down, and then we take our span number and divide it by two. So my span from the middle finger to the thumb, my full span, is four and an eighth and so now i'm going to go down two and a sixteenth and put my mark there for the middle of my grip so now that we've got that we are going to kind of make our mark there just to mark the center of the grip completely just to leave that there make it easy for future reference so now we're going to take the armadillo and make it match up as best we can with that oil line that we drew that white line so as you see here, I have this uh, fourth or fifth, um, fifth line from the left is going to match where my oil ring line is pretty closely. It's, it's going right over that white line that I made and drew on the ball. So now that we have that matched, we put our little mark right over here with our other side of our armadillo. See how it has a little hole for a pencil. And we put our mark there, and then we take that athletic tape that I was talking about earlier, and we tear off a piece, and we stick it on that little dot that we just made. And now the key point that we wanna make sure is when I throw the ball, that this point right here, this piece of tape, is staying in line and my ball is spinning around it, thus creating my positive axis point. So let's go ahead and check for that now. All right, so now that I got it centered on my PAP and we saw the video of me throwing the ball where it matched up, now we go ahead and remove the piece of athletic tape and our dot is still there. So let's just make that a little bit thicker just so we can definitely see it in just a second whenever we need it. Alrighty, so now that we did that, we take our Prosect and we draw a line over to where that it matches up to. So just line up your prosect on zero, where your center line is. Remember how we drew that line a minute ago, very important. And just draw a line all the way across. And then, now that we have that line going all the way across, you see our dot there. So now, we just turn the ball, put the prosect back on zero to make a perpendicular line that intersects the dot that we made. And now, we just measure. 
So now you put the prosect on back on the center line and you measure over to where that the <clears throat> that the intersecting line was. So if I put it on zero here, we can see that my PAP is about five and a sixteenth over. Go ahead and turn this so the camera can see as well. So if I put it back on zero, my PAP, that intersecting line right there is about five and one sixteenth over. And then I'll go ahead and measure up. And it looks like my PAP, put it on zero, is roughly half an inch up right now. So that is pretty close to how we have it measured from a couple months ago. And it can change depending on the day or how warmed up you are or exactly how you're coming out of it. So keep that in mind. But this is going to help us determine what the best layout for you is. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. That concludes today's episode. I'm back here in the pro shop. And I hinted at next week's episode whenever we're going to go in-depth into layouts and choosing the best layout for you based on this PAP information that we learned today. So I want to say thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe below, leave a like and a comment for anything that you want to learn about um, in this In the Pro Shop series. And if you have any questions about the topic, be sure to comment below as well. So thanks again, guys, and thanks to Fusion Alley Pro Shop, where I work. Be sure to check us out if you're in the Ottawa, Kansas area. Peace out. In the